Load of my worlds the first time, I started recording instead of streaming because I didn't want to showcase gamer rage because of the past 9 years of failure. Starting with the usual punch a tree, I went swimming in the ocean to find a place to build and found some water runes instead. Not wanting to deal with the drown, I turned tail and went back to the mainland, gathered bed supplies, and made a boat. Then back into the ocean I went, spawning another portal and taking a deeper look at it, in which I found there was no chest. So I hunted back into the boat and found a mushroom island by accident. Found some and cross it, I knew this would be my key to victory. But first, turns out the drown found me anyway. And so I fled. And made my bed in the shroomland. And thus, the first day was done. Upon awakening, I left and returned to the mainland to gather resources, chopping trees, collecting flint, mining stone, traversing villages, even finding pumpkins. And that was day two finished. Day three, located a shipwreck, embarrassingly, got stuck in. Afterwards, found a fire village and got the goodies before they could burn. With further resources gathering, the days tend to blur a little. After some time, I returned to the shroomland to finally start construction. And then a process I call the flattening occurred. It took many days, but the island became smoother by my hand, or rather by my pick and my shovel. It was during this time, I constructed the first farm and storage areas. I admit the makeshift base looked pretty hideous, but it would have to do for now. I kept mining and shoveling the island until day 9 when I realized I was not alone. That is, a monument was nearby, and unbeknownst to me, that was only one of two. My island was surrounded by guardians. I went exploring again, and this is what happened. When I returned home, I resumed smoothing and straightening out the island, much to the dismay of the mushrooms who greeted me when I started streaming. And then this guy suddenly appeared. How he got past the guardians, I'll never know, although you might. Let me know in the comments down below. I needed more resources, so back to the mainland it was. The Wanderer loved to observe me as I terraformed my little island. I'm not sure why he took such interest in this. I mean, hasn't he seen a terraformer before? I mean, he gets around, doesn't he? <laughs> anyway, aside from that, I had to try the mushrooms and boats so they would stop getting in my The island looks so much different now and it's time for the picketing. Alright, sorry, bad pun. Mining. That's the time it was for. It's mine time, not your time. At some point, I ended up not moving my temporary base down out of the way. It had been past 40 days at this point and the island was nearly complete. The way the mushrooms floated above it looked a bit cursed. I replaced all the flooring or ground, whichever you prefer, tell me in the comments, and replaced it with dirt. You may be wondering about the makeshift staircase. That would be the farm I mentioned earlier, built on a mushroom. Just look at the view. Beautiful, isn't it? Just absolutely gorgeous. I know it's not the best view, but it's something. Don't know if that's a good something or bad something, but it exists. And then came the time. It was now or never. I mean, never. It's like the game infected my brain and I played it so much. Dude, I didn't tell you was I was actually going to build my base in the nether. All this time, I just gathered the resources resources for building. Before I completed the portal though, I broke rule number one. Yes, that rule number one, never dig straight down. But I did it anyways. I wanted to find a lava pool, and this was the fastest way to do it. I smelted some iron and finally got to complete that portal and jump in on day 53. At this point, the challenge was past half complete. The most days I had ever survived was about 70-ish, and I only wanted to get to day 100. Meanwhile, I gas showed up and I hid, then began making my base. <laughs> You don't see me gas. <gasps> I've been out of tough box, so I went back and got some more and kept building. No. We're leaving before that happens again. I started renovating and expanding my house to look cooler with a much better storage system. I also went exploring the overworld again and found yet another village. <laughs> it does.
Alright, all right, hold on. Proficiency 3 and Breaking 3. I already have that. Feather Falling. And a ravine and cherry blossoms. I return to the Shroomland on day 69. On day 69. Booyah. Now to berry farm like nobody else, little nether shrooms in the overworld. Also started building some type of platform held up by shrooms, but sadly I never got to finish or even use it. From that moment, it felt like a generic world. I also built a humongous mushroom lighthouse tower. I went exploring in the nether and here's what happened. I wanted to take over the nearby ocean monument, so I started constructing an underwater tunnel from my lighthouse. I nearly drowned. I was still in that tunnel when I realized where the biome border was on day 93. Wait, are we still... Oh wait, no, deep blue going. Like, for a split, one block, it goes back to mushroom fields, and then it's lukewarm ocean. This is where the shit occurs. Little did I know the challenge would become overtime and I was five an extra 30 days past my plan. And this is what the world looked like after 100 days and this is day one's look. This little guy stole my boat. I proceeded to keep building, exploring and stuff. That tower looks so dumb. I came across a wolf and the dog father was a rebel. I started building another farm. I started my pathway to my basement as well and discovered a new way to mine down safely with ladders. At some point, since mobs don't spawn on my island, I decided to start finding and transporting islands inside my base. Here we go. While I was covering out the nether farm, the piglins seemed determined to trick me into hitting them. No. No, stop. Stop it. Stop. I'm like almost sweating with the effort to not accidentally hit them. <gasps> no, thank you. Sir, I see you around that corner. I see you. You're not fooling me. Okay, yeah, no. I started placing the slabs down in an effort to slow down the spawning population. As I gathered soul sand, a gas challenged me to a duel, so I walked up and punched it in the face. 
Are you serious right now? No! Gassed? Don't, don't you dare! Okay, okay. You can stop anytime now, Gassed. Do not move. You know what? Got him. And then disaster struck. Ow. I forgot about the hole. <laughs>